Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me. Well, today I'm excited I get to share with you the Stamp of the Month Club Kit from Spellbinders and Fun Stampers Journey. This is it. It's called Sprinkled with Love this month. A lot of donuts that you could build upon and then there's a cute little unicorn in here and it comes with a storage sheet which is nice. All you do is remove your um, your stamps, which are red rubber, and um, they punch out really easy. And then you can stick them down on that storage sheet. So it's a nice little storage option if you like that. There's three sentiments in the stamp set this month. There is you're right up there with unicorns and donuts. A donut is happiness with sprinkles. And of course, sprinkled with love. Isn't that little guy cute? <laughs> Okay, I love my donuts, and so I was excited about this stamp set. Um, I'll link it down below in case you guys are interested. But also, this month there's coordinating dies. They're not part of the Stamp of the Month Club kit. They're sold separately, and I'll link them down if you're interested in them. But it's a six-piece die set that coordinates with your Stamp of the Month Club kit. And it will cut out some of the frostings, um, the sentiment that says sprinkled with love, the donut hole, and then also the donut base. So if you like layering your donuts, um, the dies are perfect for that. So there's an option for you if you're interested, which is great. Okay, we're going to make a sprinkle filled donut card and I'm, I'm super excited I get to share it with you. So we're going to start off by doing some stamping. Um, I'm bringing out my VersaFine Onyx Black ink. Um, I chose this ink because we're going to do some watercoloring and I know it... Um, will keep its vibrancy with the watercolor. But I'm stamping the base of the donut six times. Now after we have the base done, I'm going, I was going to stamp the donut hole, but then I thought I didn't trust myself on getting it centered. So we're going to go ahead and stamp sprinkles. And I thought we would stamp sprinkle on all six of my donuts here. Um, the frostings are nice because there's so many options. You have that little heart um, frosting piece that you can set inside your little donut. There's um, swirls and a little don uh, frosting ring, super fun. But I just chose the sprinkles. The sprinkles are nice because you can color them in. And I stamp them in all six of my donuts. Now we're gonna stamp our donut center not in the center at all. We're off centering it and then that was not intentional, <laughs> but this is probably how our donuts would look if we made them here at the house. <laughs> Very um, natural looking, we're gonna call them. Okay, now I'm gonna bring in my Journey Color Splash watercolor pencils. Love these pencils because of the variety of colors you get. And um, it's nice too because you don't have to use them as watercolor pencils, you can use them as regular colored pencils. They work great for that also. So I chose two shades of pink, a light and a dark, and I'm going to start off by coloring one of my donuts. We're going to make a pink donut. So we're just going around the base of my donut with a lighter shade of pink. And I'm making sure I'm not hitting the sprinkles. I want to keep those white because I'm going to add color to them and I want the color to be as vibrant as possible. I'm going to go around the edge and the center of my donut with my darkest shade of pink. That's gonna add a little bit of uh, shading to my donut. I'm bringing in a little dish and spraying a little bit of water in it. Um, I'm not using watercolor cardstock, and so I'm just using a very light amount of water to spread out my pink color here. And I just love the way this looks. Also with a, a Journey Color Splash um, watercolor pencils, um, they keep their vibrancy. I know I've used some watercolor pencils in the past and then when they dry, they, the color pulls back and lightens it quite a bit, but these really stay bright and vibrant. You'll see in the pictures at the end. But that's my pink donut there. Next, we're gonna use a rainbow of colors to fill in our little sprinkles. And I'm not gonna add any water to the sprinkles. I'm gonna keep them just with the pencil. But I'm only gonna show you the coloring for one donut and then the rest of the donuts I colored in off screen just to save a little bit of time. But I did them the exact same way, um, only I used different colors. So I chose a yellow, a blue, a purple, a green, and an orange. So we're gonna have a rainbow assortment of donuts. <laughs> we're gonna add a few more different colors of sprinkles. I'm looking for a blue here. I'm gonna add a little bit of blue and then we'll add a little purple also. But I think this donut image is just adorable. 
And you can do any color donuts. You could use a traditional tan color donut if you want, but I just chose some bright and vibrant colors. Okay, I'm gonna take the coordinating die for the donut and, and cut it out. We're just gonna tape it down with some purple tape. And then in the die set, there is a donut hole. Um, the donut hole, if you put it on your donut, it, it matches the shape of the donut hole we stamped beautifully, but when you put it over it, it will die cut out your stamped um, donut center. And I wanted to keep that black donut ring, so I'm just gonna use the outline of my donut to cut out all six of my donuts. So I went ahead, colored them in, again, the same exact way, and die cut them out, and there's my rainbow donut assortment there. Now we're gonna go ahead and stamp our sentiment. For this card, I chose the sentiment that said sprinkle with love. Um, I'm going to use the same ink I used for my donuts, which is my VersaFine ink. We're just going to stamp that on some black cardstock. And then um, since there is a coordinating die for this, I'm going to die cut that out. But my ink was still a little wet. And sometimes if I run it through without drying my ink, I'll get ink all over my hands. And I'll also get it on the, the lid of my um, die cutting plate and then it transfers to my next project's paper. So I made sure I dried it with my heat gun. We'll just tape that down and run that through our die cut machine. And there's our sentiment all ready to go. Now for my background, I'm gonna bring in an embossing folder. This one here is called Picnic and it's from Spellbinders. And you know what, when I went to do my linking guys, this is on clearance right now for $1.90. Um, and it's a larger embossing folder and I'll list it down below in case you wanna check it out. But that's a great price. <laughs> But my panel that I used to um, emboss was four and a quarter by five and a half inch. And I'm just taking a quarter inch off the top and the side. So it will be slightly smaller than my card base. And we're gonna leave it white. But um, we're gonna pop up each one of our donuts with some foam adhesive. This way um, we have a little bit of dimension. And I'm gonna fill in my entire background panel here with all the different variety of donuts. I'm not um, pressing them down in place just yet, only because I want to make sure I have the right placement before um, they're adhered. And I think this is going to look great. And you can see I overlapped some of the donuts. Um, I did that intentional. I just want to trim off the excess. And then that leftover green piece that I trimmed off will fit on that open area on the left of my panel. So a great way to use up your little bits and pieces of uh, trimmed donuts. Okay, we're gonna flip this panel over and I'm gonna add some 3M foam tape behind here. Um, this is gonna go, this panel is gonna go on a standard white A2 size card base, which measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And it's a top folding base. We'll just remove the release paper and add that. I love the bright, vibrant colors of these donuts. <laughs> We'll place that in the center. Okay, for my sentiment, I already added a piece of foam tape behind it, but um, I want it one level higher than my donut. So I'm gonna add one more dimensional um, adhesive piece. And then this is gonna go overhanging one of our little blue donuts there. Such a fun card, love sprinkles. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna bring in some Nuvo Jewel Drops. These will dry translucent and um, which means they'll um, dry clear with a little bit of tint of color. And I'm starting off with Strawberry Coolie. Next, we're gonna go in with some Key Lime. And then I did add the orange, which is orange marmalade. And then the blue is Sea Breeze all over my panel. We filled it with lots of sprinkles. <laughs> and then I thought we would add some sparkle with my Nouveau Glitter Drops. This is White Blizzard. I went over all the sprinkles. And then I'm gonna add a few little dots here and there. And then that's my card for today, guys. Now it looks cloudy and when I took pictures, my, my Nuvo drops hadn't dried completely yet. So they look a little cloudy, but they'll dry clear and nice and sparkly. But here's some close up pictures. If you're interested in the kit, I'll link it down below. I wish you a fantastic day, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by and we will see you again real soon.